Welcome back to our channel, where we share updates and untold stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you some news. Catherine and William kicked out Camilla over Harry, marking their smart move for the new monarchy. According to an insider source, Princess Catherine and Prince William's bold maneuver against Queen Camilla regarding Harry's matter. In a notable act of defiance and strategic planning, Princess Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, has boldly relieved Queen Camilla of her regal duties. A difficult conflict among Prince Harry and Meghan Markle allegedly instigates this covert action, plunging the British monarchy into chaos and scrutiny. The changing dynamics of power expose an unexpected rift between Catherine and Camilla, threatening the delicate balance within the House of Windsor. This event has astonished both royal analysts and the general public. An astonishing shift of power. An intimate source suggests that Princess Catherine is reinstating her royal duties, purportedly in full support of Prince William's ambitious agenda for the monarchy. This concept has created much turmoil at Buckingham Palace, notably impacting Queen Camilla, a contentious individual within the royal hierarchy. King Charles's final decision about Camilla's role in the monarchy has left her astonished and enraged. Reports indicate that King Charles's medical evaluation and the concluding negotiations at Buckingham Palace over Queen Camilla's future role have identified Princess Catherine as the preeminent royal figure. This development has stunned Queen Camilla and surprised Prince Harry, who's been closely monitoring the changing dynamics within the royal family. The Genesis of the Dispute the ongoing saga of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has significantly contributed to the tensions among the royal family. Prince Harry's decision to abdicate his position as a senior royal and go to California with Meghan Markle was a pivotal moment, indicating a significant transformation in the monarchy's dynamics. The couple's January 2020 announcement to abdicate their senior royal titles was unusual, eliciting varied responses from the public and the media. Since then, Prince Harry has been the focal point of several controversies, often arising from his harsh criticisms of the royal family. A notable incident occurred in March 2021 when Harry and Meghan participated in a noteworthy conversation with Oprah Winfrey. During this interaction, they leveled serious charges, which included accusations of racial prejudice within the royal family and suggestions of disregarding Meghan's mental health issues. The public saw these disclosures as a direct challenge to the monarchy, exacerbating their already vulnerable status and revealing private familial issues to public examination. The issue intensified with the publication of Harry's book, Spare, in early 2023. The book included a comprehensive examination of his personal life and his tumultuous relationship with his brother, Prince William, and other relatives. The detailed revelations of his personal experiences as well as the internal discord within the royal family, heightened public interest and media attention. The book faced criticism for disclosing personal issues and confidential information about the royal family's private life, intensifying Harry's estrangement from his cousins. Since assuming his new position as commentator and vocal critic of the monarchy, Prince Harry has faced several challenges. His participation in films and television programs, public appearances, and media statements has often centered on criticizing the establishment to which he once belonged. This swift shift from prince to vocal critic has elicited feelings of betrayal among many individuals, especially those who previously regarded him as a loyal member of the royal family. The extensive media coverage of his personal matters and disputes has heightened friction within the royal family and had considerable consequences for the monarchy overall. Princess Catherine's Intentional Silence Amidst this tumultuous period, Princess Catherine has shown a composed disposition in response to the escalating issue involving Meghan Markle. This stands in stark contrast to her husband's increased participation in the situation. Catherine, noted for her steadfast politeness, has traversed the turmoil with a cool manner that reflects her deep dedication to her role within the royal family. Despite facing considerable public attention, she has mostly refrained from commenting on the scandals involving Prince Harry, opting instead to concentrate on her charitable endeavors and obligations as a member of the royal family. Catherine's approach closely adheres to the current royal policy of refraining from engagement and avoiding entanglement in public family conflicts. 
She carefully constructs her public statements and appearances to highlight her status as a prospective queen and committed spouse, instead of confronting the particulars of the royal conflict. One could interpret her reluctance to openly express her opinions as a subtle form of dissent or an implied rejection of the current tensions. Catherine's comportment and statements are calculated and formal, demonstrating her commitment to her royal duties, unlike many who have adopted a more confrontational stance. Her unwavering dedication distinguishes her from the chaos produced by Prince Harry's choices, displaying a unique set of objectives and principles. Queen Camilla's Intricate Ties Members of the royal circle have long been aware of the intricate relationship that Queen Camilla has with Prince Harry and Princess Catherine. Camilla, the Queen Consort of the United Kingdom, has a prominent role within the royal circle, leading to public and media scrutiny of her interactions with other royal members. Despite their common royal lineage, Camilla has a cordial relationship with both Prince Harry and Catherine, albeit their relationships are complex. The contentious relationship between Camilla and Prince Harry is particularly noteworthy, especially given Harry's candid critique of the royal family and its internal dynamics. Harry perceives Camilla as a constant outsider, an intruder who had a role in the disintegration of his parents' marriage. This perspective has fostered ongoing friction between them. An intrinsic coldness and a subtle but palpable hatred have always marked Camilla's encounters with Harry, despite her efforts to mend relations. Despite Camilla's attempts to cultivate a relationship with Catherine, their connection has seen sporadic upheaval. Both women have experienced considerable stress from public perception and the monarchy, resulting in visible signs of strain throughout the years. Camilla has mostly shown her support for Catherine. Nevertheless, this encouragement has sometimes been imbued with a feeling of competition. Recent rumors indicate that Camilla may display rudeness or hostility towards Catherine, especially considering Catherine's status within the royal circle. Princess Catherine is becoming more prominent. Despite these challenges, Princess Catherine's influence within the monarchy persists. Princess Anne, noted for her steadfast dedication to royal duties, has reportedly expressed her support for Catherine in this undertaking. We believe Anne's endorsement is a significant recommendation because of her renowned position within the royal circle, as well as her reputation for thoroughness and devotion among her colleagues. The Queen anticipates that Princess Anne will mentor Catherine, equipping her for the heightened responsibilities associated with her enhanced rank. Princess Catherine's elevated status reflects her personal qualities and functions as a deliberate tactic to ensure the monarchy's stability and longevity. Her poised demeanor and dedication to her duties have favorably influenced public image, reinforcing her position as a distinguished member of the royal family. This tendency has received approval from royal aficionados, who saw Catherine's increased responsibilities as a positive progression towards a modern and relevant monarchy. The public's reaction to these events has been diverse, with several people expressing their endorsement of Princess Catherine and Prince William's behavior. Social media platforms are now engaging in discourse over the power dynamics inside the royal circle, with hashtags such as Team Kate and Monarchy Restructure gaining traction. Advocates of Catherine and William saw their endeavors as a crucial strategy to enhance the monarchy and address persistent challenges within the royal family. Royal experts have offered their insights on the implications of this power change. Historian and royal critic Dr. Anna Whitelock believes that Catherine's growing prominence is a strategic endeavor to preserve the monarchy's relevance in the 21st century. Princess Catherine has the qualities necessary for a modern monarchy, dedication, accessibility, and a deep sense of duty. Whitelock said that her expanded responsibilities indicate the royal family's efforts to adapt to changing conditions. In contrast, several experts have expressed concerns over the potential consequences of Queen Camilla's reduced authority. Royal biographer Penny Junior stated, Queen Camilla has substantially aided King Charles and fostered stability within the royal family. Her reduced influence may lead to increased conflict and uncertainty, particularly regarding ongoing issues with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Queen Camilla's discontentment and eroding authority Queen Camilla has reportedly responded to these incidents with anger and annoyance. Palace insiders have said that Camilla has participated in several bitter disagreements with King Charles about his decision to elevate Princess Catherine's status.
The conflicts have led to a significant reduction in Camilla's influence within the royal circle, prompting apprehensions over her potential role as queen consort. Camilla's discontent with the changes inside the royal circle is not unprecedented. She has previously expressed her feelings about perceived unfair treatment and a lack of recognition for her contributions to the monarchy. Recent occurrences have exacerbated this disposition, significantly damaging her ties with other royal family members. Princess Anne's Support for Catherine Princess Anne has purportedly shown her support for Princess Catherine. Catherine, recognized for her pragmatic disposition and dedication to royal duties, saw Anne's backing as a significant asset. We expect Anne to play a crucial role in educating Catherine, as per the Queen's instructions, to prepare her for the increased responsibilities linked to her elevated status. Princess Anne's support for Catherine not only highlights Catherine's abilities, but also serves as a strategic measure to ensure monarchy continuity. Anne's skills and insight will be crucial for Catherine as she assumes her new role and responsibilities. We expect that the collaboration between Anne and Catherine will elevate the royal family's public perception and reassert their commitment to duty and service. The media has swiftly exploited the escalating friction within the royal family, with headlines ranging from sensational to analytical. Prominent publications have shown a tendency to exaggerate the narrative using dramatic headlines such as Royal Rift, Camilla and Catherine's Cold War and family rivalry, Camilla Vess. Catherine as prominent front page features. These news pieces often emphasize the interpersonal conflict and emotions between the two individuals, illustrating a narrative of an intense struggle for power and prestige inside the royal family. However, some scholarly works have embraced a different viewpoint, examining the broader implications of the conflict for the monarchy's public image and its internal dynamics. Headlines such as Monarchy in Crisis indicate a shift from sensationalism to analytical discourse, prompting readers to contemplate the potential consequences of this dispute on the institution as a whole. These narratives often assume an academic tone, examining the roles of Camilla and Catherine within the royal sphere and investigating the possible ramifications of their discord on the monarchy's future. The article Camilla and Catherine's Impact on the Royal Family thoroughly examines the complexities of the situation, offering a deep evaluation of how this rivalry may affect the power dynamics within the royal family. In the face of extensive media scrutiny, a prevailing narrative has emerged depicting Camilla as a perplexed individual who has not received enough recognition for her contributions. Some analysts contend that her portrayal as a victim stems from her connection to a large and sometimes dysfunctional family, resulting in a misreading of her actions and goals by a public keen on controversy. Conversely, there is growing consensus that the present problem primarily pertains to the future of the royal family, with Catherine's prestige and reputation expected to endure the most substantial consequences. This perspective suggests that the settlement of this issue might significantly impact the monarchy, particularly regarding its public image and internal operations. The Impact on the House of Windsor The rift between Camilla and Catherine has significantly impacted the royal family. The media swiftly identified the disagreement at the start of Catherine's marriage to Prince William, leading to the revelation of their private disputes and subjecting the royal family to heightened scrutiny. The media shattered the carefully crafted appearance of unity within the monarchy, providing the populace, known for their fascination with royal matters, with additional material to intensify their preoccupation. The disclosure that the family lacked the anticipated cohesion contradicted the previously idealized depiction of the monarchy and challenged societal norms. The competition between Camilla and Catherine fostered a harmful environment inside the royal family. The resulting conflict caused a shift in communication relations among family members, transforming social gatherings and ceremonial events from symbols of royal alliance and unity into potentially contentious settings. Previously refined royal gatherings saw noticeable tension as the escalating conflict between the two women became more impossible to hide. The usually composed and serene members of the royal family seemed much less content and harmonious at state banquets and other formal occasions. The familial friction was evident, resulting in the disintegration of the carefully constructed facade of unity. 
The disagreement between Camilla and Catherine substantially impacted other relationships within the royal family. Prince William had a challenging dilemma as he sought to reconcile his support for his wife with the maintenance of an amicable relationship with Camilla, his stepmother. This challenging balancing act forced William and Catherine to reassess their approaches to several aspects of royal life, particularly their positions within the royal hierarchy. The heightened tension introduced a new complexity to their jobs as they managed the intensifying strain within the family dynamics. King Charles, I also had to address the repercussions of the altercation. In addition to his royal duties, Charles had to mediate the conflicts between Camilla and Catherine in his role as monarch. The public assessed his behavior, recognizing the impact of the familial dispute on his leadership. Traditional celebrations intended to display a cohesive monarchy need careful administration to avoid inflaming conflicts. We reduced the traditional grandeur of royal activities to minimize the potential for confrontation, resulting in substantial modifications to the official royal schedule. They discreetly canceled or modified many events to alleviate the possibility of escalating tension between Camilla and Catherine. This proactive approach to the conflict illustrated the extent to which it had infiltrated the everyday operations of the royal family. The observant public noted these alterations and speculated about the underlying causes, increasing interest in the royal conflict. Extended Ramifications The ongoing animosity between Catherine and Camilla is not only cosmetic, it is an enduring conflict with no signs of settlement. The animosity stemming from their differing perspectives and characteristics might substantially affect Catherine's position within the monarchy. Since obtaining the title of Duchess of Cambridge and joining the royal limelight, Catherine has profoundly impacted popular perception of the monarchy. Her composure, elegance, and commitment to her royal responsibilities have earned the adoration of both the royal family and the general populace. However, the ongoing conflict with Camilla may need Catherine to use more caution in executing her royal duties. Therefore, she must proceed carefully to maintain her public image while fostering harmonious family relationships. This may lead to a more methodical and intentional approach to her royal responsibilities, emphasizing her philanthropic endeavors and mother role. The discord between Catherine and Camilla has resulted in a sequence of consequences that are expected to have long-term effects on the royal family. These royal members' interactions with society and one another exemplify the most significant impact. The long-term implications of this situation indicate a phase of adjustment and a potential re-evaluation of responsibilities within the royal circle. The difficult conditions confronting Catherine, Camilla, and Prince Harry may influence the trajectory of the monarchy, affecting their relationships and possible disputes. The dispute between Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine has produced substantial media coverage, reflecting the persistent fascination in the complex dynamics of the British royal family. Extensive media scrutiny has focused on this specific dispute, with journalists eagerly taking chances to explore the complexities of royal conflict, often exacerbating the apparent rifts within the family structure. The headlines generated by this media coverage vary from sensational to educational, each presenting a distinct viewpoint on the highly publicized issue that has engaged the public's attention. Prominent media outlets have shown a tendency to exaggerate the narrative using dramatic headlines such as Royal Rift, Camilla and Kate's Cold War and Family Rivalry, Camilla Vess, Kate as significant front-page features. These news pieces often emphasize the interpersonal conflict and emotions between the two individuals, illustrating a narrative of an intense struggle for power and prestige inside the royal family. The portrayal of Camilla and Catherine's discord as a cold war has piqued public interest, bolstering the belief that the monarchy is involved in a clandestine and long-lasting conflict. Nevertheless, some scholarly papers have followed a different approach. Investigating the larger consequences of the conflict on the monarchy's public view and internal dynamics. Headlines like Monarchy in Crisis signal a change from sensationalism to analytical discourse, inviting readers to ponder the probable repercussions of this disagreement on the institution overall. These articles generally assume a more intellectual tone, evaluating the roles of Camilla and Catherine within the royal circle and discussing how their rivalry may affect the monarchy's future. 
Camilla and Catherine's Impact on the Royal Family is an essay that methodically explores the subtleties of the subject, presenting a comprehensive appraisal of how this rivalry could alter the power dynamics within the royal family. Thank you for watching the video. Please let us know your thoughts and goodbye for the time being.